Hey, what's up, Oilers fans, and welcome on in to another edition of the Oilers Roundup, hosted by yours truly, Dominic Lorenz. Now, baseball has always been known as America's pastime. It brings family and friends together, and this season, the Huntington Beach Oilers have been blessed with two special brothers that have been doing their thing on the mound and behind the plate. Today, I had a chance to sit down with senior starting pitcher Brad Grinlinger and his younger brother, sophomore catcher Trent Grinlinger, and we had a chance to talk about their season performances, everything about the team, and much, much more. So I hope you sit back and relax and enjoy my conversation with Brad and Trent Grinlinger. All right, boys, welcome in. Trent and Brad Grinlinger, the brothers here on the Huntington Beach Oilers. How are you guys doing today? Great. It's a great day. Game, game day, baby. Yeah, great day. We want to get a league dub today. Um, yeah, we're really excited to go. So, Well, it's been absolutely awesome this year having both of these brothers. Pitcher, catcher relationship here. Older brother, younger brother. First off, what is that dynamic like at home for you? We're going to start off with the older brother. Sorry, right, Trent. Enough. What's the older brother version like yeah. at home? So, you know, we have a really good relationship. You know, we do a lot together. Um, we work out together, um, play video games together. And, you know, we've had a really good relationship um, probably since I was about 10 years old. So we were on the same team. He was like eight. And I think from then on, he's been my catcher and my guy. So I wouldn't want anybody else back there. He's an unreal talent. Yeah. Okay. Tell me the honest truth. What's it like having your older brother on the mountain, having to call him? Is it feisty at times or to just go through the motions and it's really nice to have a recognizable face out there yeah not just band of brothers as your teammates yeah. but a friendly familiar family yeah. face i mean it's a, it's amazing I'll, I'll be honest with you it's awesome i mean it's just so much fun like we have such a good connection so especially when i'm like he's out there and he he spots up very well so if i set up i know he's gonna throw there like sometimes i can even cheat the pitches because that's how good he is and he hits location every time and sometimes if he doesn't like he'll throw two balls in a row or he's not giving it his best that i can tell i'll throw the ball a little back harder at him let him know that you know we got a game to win so yeah. don't don't settle up too easily exactly yeah. hey i promise this is not scripted they do love each other they are <laughs> yeah. brothers that love each other there is no animosity there and that's the best thing about it now to keep with the family ideal for a minute Last week at the Boris Classic, the family was out in full force. I know your parents, your extended family. What's it like having their support all season long? It's awesome. I mean, just as many fans, it's always awesome playing in front of fans. So especially when your family from who usually doesn't watch baseball or doesn't come to all your games, it's awesome to have them there and supporting and having up their flags and stuff. It's awesome. Yeah, like what he said, it's always good, like, you know, just looking at some familiar faces in the stands and, you know, that they're rooting for you. And it was awesome last week at the Boris. So it made it, it, Made me feel really good. So yeah. Yeah, and you boys both love to get fired up. If it's oh, yeah. you either <laughs> getting hit by a pitch, yeah. a walk, a base hit, you any time a strike or any <laughs> exciting out, yeah. you both are always amped on the field. And that's what we always love to see. Now, before we get more into your season performances and college is coming up closer for you, yeah. a couple more years for you. Yeah. I gotta get some friendly fire questions yeah. going on okay. here. Okay, <laughs> we, we we go with that. Yeah, we're good. Okay, some rapid fire. Here we go. If you were on a stranded desert or tropical island, whatever you like, what is the one food or snack that you got to take with you no matter what for the rest of your life? For me to be sushi, that's my favorite food. Um, I love sushi more than anything, so it'd have to be that, yeah. Okay, sushi. <laughs> Gotta be a Jersey Mike's number seven. Jersey Mike, oh, I, that's right. <laughs> there we go, we got the same order going on for Jersey Mike's. All right, I like it. Now, college-wise for you guys, congratulations to you, Charleston Southern University. Sir. Long Beach State Thank in a couple of years. So we're going to put the sophomore off for a minute. Okay. okay. You, got, you yep. still got high school for a little while longer. Yeah. Talk to me through the process, Charleston Southern University. I know you were undeclared for a while and then boom, a couple weeks ago. Yeah. Congratulations to you. Take me through that. And what are you excited about in the college starting this fall? Yeah. So it was really easy. We go uh, um, every summer, you know, with our, we were playing a lot of travel ball in the summer. So we'd be on the East Coast a lot. And um, we have family out in Hilton Head Island in South Carolina. So we've been to the area a lot, um, been to Charleston. And it was like, I just love how green the South is. And I was really just a big fan of it. And then speaking of the pitching coach, the recruiting coordinator and the head coach, it felt like home. And plus they play one of the best schedules out there. So they're playing against Georgia, Tennessee, Florida, Kansas, and um, South Carolina as well. And it, it was just awesome. I feel really at home there. And, you know, I'm going to develop there for the next couple of years. And, yeah, goals get drafted. So, yeah. Absolutely. And we're all rooting for you there, bringing a little West Coast baseball to the East Coast. You can never complain about that. Now, the sophomore over here, on the other hand, 
you're going from one beach to another beach. Yep. He's going to go from Huntington Beach to Long Beach State University. And I asked Cal State Fullerton, eh, <laughs> we'll see if the dirt right bag we way. like. <laughs> yeah. But for you, as a sophomore declaring very early, what is so special about Long Beach State for you that you just had to say yes? So our, when we were when we were kids, we always went to the games. Yeah, we were bad boys there yeah. for a little bit. So it was awesome. We went to all the camps, have a bunch of hats signed by all their players, the old players, the old coaches. And then another factor was obviously it's close to home, so my parents, grandparents, all my family around can go to my games and stuff. But then also my little brother is going to be a sophomore by the time I am a – he's going to be a junior by the time I'm a freshman there, so he'll be able to go to my games, which I really like. And then sometimes when he's close, I can come watch his high school games here. So it's going to be awesome. It's going to be awesome. Yeah, the Grinlinger boys are never going to leave Huntington Beach. They got more. They got a younger <laughs> yeah. brother in the pipeline. It's going to be great to see them, oh, yeah. which is awesome to see. Yeah. Now, before we go, give me your best take – this season what has been your best number one highlight moment that you're going to take with you from this season i know for you being a senior this yeah. is it for you so for you what is your number one highlight moment of this season yeah so for me personally um it would probably be against bishop gorman you know their top 10 team in the country and i probably think my best performance against them all year um four scoreless innings with him back there working for me and um i was just really th like grateful for that opportunity and um we ended up winning the championship so that was definitely in north carolina so that was big for me yeah that was, I'd have to say that one. Yeah. absolutely hey the nhs side tournament was a grand one for huntington beach they won the championship in the nhs side tournament so congrats to you boys you. so a good moment right there from brad trent what's your number one moment of the regular season so far i got two so it's also winning nhsi i mean that was awesome that's most fun i've ever had playing baseball always and then also winning states last year as a freshman, it was awesome to win that. That was a big game. Very okay. good game, yeah. So, see, the younger brother tries to outdo older brother. you got to go with two moments over the one big moment. So, see, is this the natural? This is what naturally happens. Oh, yeah, I have yeah. a feeling at home. Yeah, you gotta, yeah, we keep pushing each other always. Yeah, for yeah. sure. Absolutely. you got to love it. Well, Brad Grinlinger, Trent Grinlinger, thank you guys for joining thank me here today. Us. It's so awesome to have them on the Huntington Beach Rollers. Hopefully, the next time Brad's on the bump, yeah. we're going to get Trent behind the plate as well. It's always nice to have that brother rivalry. Not right. Well, a little bit of a rivalry, <laughs> so on and so forth. But it's good that they're wearing the black and orange of the Huntington Beach Oilers. But I'm Dominic Lorenz. That's Brad Grinlinger. That's Trent Grinlinger. And this was the Oilers Roundup. <laughs>